Today we have the honor of detailing this 1969 Ford Mustang Mach 1. This is an all original barn find survivor car. This vehicle spent most of its life in Sunnyvale, California, and then spent the last 15 years in a barn in, I believe, Oklahoma, I was told. The current owner purchased this vehicle and had it shipped up to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan with the intent of flipping the vehicle. Today we aren't doing a full restoration detail. We won't be restoring any paint or doing any paint enhancement. Uh, we are more so going to be doing a general cleaning of the car. As it's been sitting in a barn, it is definitely dirty, dusty, and a little bit grimy. As you can see, the interior was in pretty good condition. Minus a little bit of vacuuming and a little bit of wiping down, it's not too bad. You can see the nooks and crannies need a little bit of love. Um, but overall, the interior was in next to immaculate condition, considering its age and how long it's been in a barn. You can see here just a light dusting on the dashboard. Nothing too crazy at all. One thing I found very interesting was how intact these original weather seals were. Uh, you can see they are still plush like rubber. They're not cracked. They're not rotted out. They're not faded. This was a very cool touch. We started the interior detail by blowing out any nook, cranny, crevice um, to get rid of any dirt or anything of the sort. You can see here all the dust flying out of the seat. Um, this is exactly why we do this as our first step. So we want to get all that stuff out from where it was so that way it's a little bit easier for us, for us to vacuum up. Which is where we went on to right here. Once we finished vacuuming, we started spraying some interior detail spray um, over some of the trim, plastic, vinyl, that kind of stuff, and scrubbed it down. Like I said, doesn't need too much love, but it's always good to have a nice, good scrub down. And you'll see here, um, even after wiping it down, there was a little bit of dust remaining afterwards, but uh, with our detail process, uh, we always finish off the vehicle. The last step we do every single time is dust the entire vehicle for that specific reason. Once we were done with the interior, we moved on to the engine bay. We uh, ended up taking off the air filter cover so we could clean the whole thing inside and out, upside down, everything. Uh, the in the engine bay, we didn't want to go too crazy with it. We didn't want to risk uh, potentially damaging anything. So we used steam and an all-purpose uh, degreaser and cleaned it up pretty good. Then we moved on to the rinse, uh, being very cautious to make sure we weren't getting too close to the paint with our pressure washer using a low pressure pressure washer uh, because this paint is in pretty rough condition. There's uh, paint chips, it's cracked all over. It's single stage paint, so there's no clear coat. So we had to be very gentle with our entire exterior process. You'll see here how dirty the vehicle was when I pull in or zoom into this puddle of water. And at this point, this one I noticed, look at this vinyl stripe. See how it's gold and silver right now? You never see that in person. Only in the right lighting uh, is this black decal, silver or gold. Uh, very, very cool touch that I noticed just out of the corner of my eye. We then moved to cleaning the tires and wheels. We started with a soft bristle, soft bristle rim cleaning brush, and then we moved on to our stiff bristle tire brush. After doing all four tires and rinsing them down, we moved into our foam process, where we foam down the entire vehicle to help break down any dirt that may still be standing on the vehicle because again we wanted to be gentle with the vehicle we wanted to get as much off as we could with the foam so that way our wash process could go a little easier then we very gently wash the entire vehicle of course using a three bucket method doing one or two panels at a time as to not cross contaminate then we moved on to the emblems where we took a very soft bristle brush lubricated with water and soap and went around all the different emblems, badges, that kind of thing to really get the nitty gritty stuff out. Once we were done with the wash process, we moved on to the final rinse. 
Then it was the decontamination stage. So we sprayed some iron and fallout remover over the whole vehicle and then moved on to our clay barring process where we are going to get rid of any embedded contaminants in the paint. Again, being very gentle. Once we were done with that and it was completely dry, we moved on to cleaning up the windows and doing the kind of final touches. After the windows were done, we moved on to adding some tire shine, blacking up some of you know, the trim tires make it look nice and new again. And after that, you know, our final vacuum on the interior, dusting the interior and touching up anything that needed any touching up. As far as the chrome goes or the emblems, anything like that, or water drips, we made sure those were cleaned up properly. And here's the finished product. We hope you enjoy.